First reading A reading from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12 to 22 Moses said to the people And now Israel what does the Lord your God ask of you but to fear the Lord your God and follow his ways exactly to love and serve the Lord your God with all your heart and all your soul to keep the commandments and statutes of the Lord which i enjoin on you today for your own good think the heavens even the highest heavens belong to the Lord your God as well as the earth and everything on it yet in his love for your fathers the Lord was so attached to them as to choose you their descendants in preference to all other peoples as indeed he has now done circumcise your hearts therefore and be no longer stiff-necked for the lord your god is the god of gods the lord of lords the great god mighty and awesome who has no favorites accepts no bribes who executes justice for the orphan and the widow and befriends the alien feeding and clothing him so you too must befriend the alien for you were once aliens yourselves in the land of egypt the lord your god shall you fear and him shall you serve hold fast to him and swear by his name he is your glory he your god who has done for you those great and terrible things which your own eyes have seen your ancestors went down to egypt 70 strong and now the lord your god has made you as numerous as the stars of the sky the word of the lord a reading from the holy gospel according to saint matthew chapter 17 verses 22 27 As Jesus and his disciples were gathering in Galilee Jesus said to them The son of man is to be handed over to men and they will kill him and he will be raised on the third day And they were overwhelmed with grief When they came to Capernaum the collectors of the temple tax approached Peter and said Does not your teacher pay the temple tax Yes he said when he came into the house before he had time to speak jesus asked him what is your opinion simon from whom do the kings of the earth take tolls or census tax from their subjects or from foreigners when he said from foreigners jesus said to him then the subjects are exempt but that we may not offend them go to the sea drop in a hook and take the first fish that comes up open its mouth and you will find a coin worth twice the temple tax give that to them for me and for you gospel of the lord my dear brothers and sisters in christ my dear children and my dear young generation today monday 9th of august 2021 the gospel passage that we are given by the church is from Matthew chapter 17 verses 22 to 27 we encounter two parts of Jesus's life the first part Jesus speaks about his death on the second section of the reading Jesus deals with the pain of taxes to the governor My dear brothers and sisters in Christ today therefore we are called to pay attention what is more important in life even to understand the meaning of life and death when Jesus speaks to us 
about the whole question of dying and rising on the third day. We have a martyr and a virgin in the church. Today we celebrate. And she is by name Saint Teresa Benedicta of the Cross. She comes from Germany. Her original name is uh, Edith Stein. She was coming from a Jewish family. Therefore, she knew one day she would end up in a gas chamber in Auschwitz in Poland because of the regime of Hitler of the time. In fact, she was killed. She offered her life. She died in a gas chamber in the year 1942. She was born in 1891. She was looking for meaning. One day, she said to herself, why am I born a Jew? Why am I to die one day? Because I am a Jew. She was looking for the meaning of life, meaning of death. She was able to understand why she was born and why she has to die and what she wants to tell the world by her birth and by her death. And this she was able to realize only by converting herself to Christianity. Now, how does it happen? One day she was in a town and she was looking at the people, the people who are going into churches. She saw a, an elderly woman carrying a basket full of vegetables, therefore coming from the marketplace on her way back home all by herself under the scorching sun. And she stops at the door of a church. She enters into the church. Edith Stein wonders, why this elderly woman, already so tired, on her way back home, enters into a church? For what? She goes into the church herself. And she was marveling herself when she saw that elderly woman on her knees before the Blessed Sacrament. And this event changed her life. She was able to understand why we are born and why we die one day. She was able to tell the world the meaning of birth and death by her faith.